Hey everybody, today we are at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and we are looking at a Winnebago, and the model number is 2108DS. So let's get to it. All right, so we're starting out here with the awning. As you see, it's a full-size awning. Again, it's a micro mini, but still, the awning covers the whole side. Uh, it is powered, so you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see from the lights, it has got some LED lights up there, which is really cool. So let's go to the front storage. All right, now that's pretty decent storage, right? That goes all the way through the other side, and there's a little, few little cubbies over here, which is nice. Um, this is a manual jack. All right, it's not auto level, so you're gonna have to crank those down. All right, what I like about these, even though they're micro minis, they're slam latches, right? In pretty, pretty thick doors, right? I mean, that's a pretty thick door right there. Also magnets, so it sticks up. These have West Lake tires on there, so great tires, so you don't have to worry about upgrading your tires right away. Now this is sort of the outdoor TV station. There's a backer here if you want to mount a TV for when you're outside. There's power and a, and a cable connection, okay? It's also your fill for your tanks. That is the back of the refrigerator. Let's go around to the back. Again, you have a nice bumper mounted tire so you don't have to go looking for it um, if you get a flat. And this also has a walk-up ladder to the roof. Um, it is pre-wired for a backup camera, so which is nice. All the lights are LED. Over here is sort of all your connection area. This is where you connect your power. It's a 30 amp connection. Cable and satellite hookup. Um, this is like a little outdoor shower, which is kind of neat. That's the back of the hot water here. Now there's a nice little slide. It, it, this is what's called a Schwintec slide. That's what's typically used for smaller, um, smaller slides. You don't want to have a, sh a Schwintec on a big slide. It, 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 it just won't do the job. The windows in this are your, your standard type windows. They're not the frameless, which again, it's not a big deal. So let's go. Here is the other side, by the way, of that, that front. And that to me looks like, that is a cutoff. I think that's your battery cutoff switch. So if you're, you're putting it in storage, you can just turn that and uh, it will cut your batteries off. I think that's what that is. All right, here are the numbers. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read them to you. So I'll just keep it there nice and steady and maybe I'll do a voiceover for you. <laughs> All right, now this again, this has got dual 30 pound propane tanks. Most RVs of size are only gonna have 20 pound uh, tanks. So um, you've got some upgraded tanks in there and it has an electric jack. So you don't have to be cranking that up, which is kind of nice. So let's go to the inside. All right. Hey, look at this. This is awesome. This is a Murphy bed with a couch in front of it. This is actually what I'm looking for in my own RV. Wow, this is nice. All right, so I've, I don't know how this works, so let's see. I think this has to come down uh, or up. Oh, there we go. So that lays flat. So that's now flat. And then there's a handle here and that just pulls down. And it looks like, like a little two piece mattress thing. Look at that. That is neat. See, that is what I want in my fifth wheel. I want a Murphy bed. I wonder if they can put this in a fifth wheel. All right, well, let's put that back. And it just folds right up like so. And then this, I'm not sure how this goes. I probably oh, just flip up like that. It's probably easier with two hands. There we go. I actually did that with one hand. Sorry if the camera was shaking a lot. I apologize. So this has some storage left and right. Do a little bit of storage, which is really deep. There's some hangers up there. There's also storage up along the top. Now it is open, 
So if you're driving down the road and you hit a bump, stuff might fall out, but there's also storage to the left and the right. So when you're using this as a couch, this is kind of like an end table, but at night it's a nightstand. Now, if you see back there, that's also really deep too. Now there's power back there and charging stations. So when the bed is out, this goes all the way back in there, which is really, really neat, okay? So over here is another sofa that collapses and makes a bed. And it's on a slide. Now, since it's on a slide, they've made the dinette kind of, well, it's portable, right? It's just a table. And so when you're moving, that can collapse and, and go down. But when you're you know, parked somewhere, you set that up, and this becomes sort of your dinette area, okay? Which is kind of nice, so when you're done eating, you can just fold that up and store it away so it's not in the way. It's awesome. Now, your TV is over there. Now, this is one of my biggest pet peeves, is having a, a TV that, you know, I'm sitting on the sofa like this, and I gotta crank my neck over to look at the TV from this sofa. It is really uncomfortable. Now. If I'm sitting over here on this one, you are looking straight on. So we're gonna give this a thumbs up. So with having this Murphy bed sofa here, it works really good, okay? Now, what's this here? Is this storage down here? Look, not sure what this is. I think what this does is this sits here between here and here and creates a bit of a back, right? So there's some extra pieces here to make this a, a bit of a, um, a back behind the, the sofa. So let's look at the kitchen. Now here's one thing I love about RV companies, when they add just that little flip up, right? I know it doesn't seem like a lot to people, but trust me, that extra countertop space with that little flip up, man, it is so useful to have that little, that little extra space. Now this has a bunch of drawers, okay? Nice cabinet here. And this is a huge sink, a huge, sink for such a small RV. Look at that. That is huge. Big residential faucet. Okay. Now the blinds that are in here, they're just normal Venetian type blinds. Most people would change those out to either, you know, like a day night roller shade kind of thing. Those are really low end, but they're not bad. And you do have some count or some cabinetry up above the store stuff. Now this does have your glass top RV stove, just the three burner, all right? It does not have an oven, all right? It is just a stove top. It's a little microwave, range hood. And here is the Dometic RV refrigerator. All right, now look, this is about the size that we have and you'd be amazed at how much food that you can put in here. I know it looks small to a lot of people when you first walk in an RV and look at it, but you can put a ton of food in here. All right. Well, and here's my favorite thing, the bathroom, right? So you all know what time it is, right? It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, so we are in the bathroom. And this one is kind of tight. It does have a sliding door, so they're making good, good use of space. Um, but if I was in a comfortable position, my feet would be right about here. And even though there's some space under the door, it, it's just not enough for a tall guy. So if you're a tall guy, again, I'm a little bit over 6'4", this one's getting a... All right, so let's check the shower. If I can figure out how to get in there. All right, come on in here, Lisa. Okay, so we are at the upper ranges of a shower for me. My head is, is literally pressing against this little top bubble. I mean, I'm pressing against it. Um, and. I'm not quite all the way standing straight up. I'm a little bit down. Um, and so, like the toilet, if you're a tall guy, yeah, okay? 
Now this one does have a little sink in here. I'm not sure if you can get in here, Lisa. It's got a nice sink down there, right? Nice mirror, right? Little medicine chest or medicine cabinet, if you will. Got some storage in here, which is great for your towels and things like that. That's really nice, okay? Now there's one other thing that I wanna talk about with RVs. Now, it's right here, all right? You see my head? Okay, I'm touching this. If you're a tall guy, you just have to know that you're gonna to have to duck in a lot of situations with travel trailers. In and out of bathroom doors, in and out of the RV, in and out of the slide, if you've got a slide. These are all headaches for tall people, all right? And again, I just, you can hurt yourself. So if you're a tall guy in a travel trailer, just know that you're gonna have to duck a lot. Now, if you're anything like me, I've just grown up ducking. I've just gotten used to it because I'm tall and I have to duck a lot. So I like to cover that because I know uh, I've had a couple comments of people to me say, hey, talk about more stuff for tall people. It is called Tall Man RV Reviews. Well, some things I just take for granted because I'm just used to ducking all the time. So you have to be mindful of all the throughways that have a door that you're gonna have to duck or you're gonna have a headache. So uh, if you're stumbling out here at night, halfway asleep trying to go to the restroom, I hope you remember to duck. Well guys, we hope you like this RV, uh, RV review. If you do, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. We love you guys. And for the new ones that just hit that subscribe button, welcome to the family. We will see you on the road.